In this session, I want to talk about what I think is behind the secret and the law of attraction. Of course, the secret is the runaway bestseller by Rhonda Byrne. She also produced a video and audio program based on the same idea, which in short is that thoughts are things and that you become what you think about. And like so many other things, this book and other products have become successful because there is a grain of truth to them. Your dominant thoughts really are a reflection of your self-concept and your self-concept does become your reality or your reality is a reflection of your previous dominant thoughts and self-concept. We're going to accept that as being mostly true for the time being. But if you think that you can change your reality just by thinking a couple of new thoughts or writing out some affirmations a couple of times, you, you are just mistaken. It's just not good enough and I want to tell you why and I want to show you how to really make the shift so that you can actually use some of the better parts of Mrs. Burns idea. When you talk to people who have read The Secret or watched the video you will notice that they are more optimistic. They've received a message that tells them they can change the way they think and they can change their lives and this is a very empowering thought but it doesn't go far enough what you will notice uh, and perhaps in yourself is that if you have listened to the secret or read it you are more optimistic this is pretty clear and it's very clear when you meet people who are very jazzed up by the idea so we can easily see that there is a shift from pessimism to optimism and again this is a very good thing but what I want to encourage you to consider is the much deeper thing that really takes place in the people who really get it and what you're really seeing is a more fundamental shift toward an idea or a very deeply held belief in self-determination, if you listen to the whole range of the secret ideas or the Abraham teachings by Esther Hicks, what they're really teaching is that you are in control of your life, that you are in control of the thoughts you think and the actions you take, and in the beliefs that you hold, that your thoughts and your actions are going to yield for you. And this shift is from a much more dangerous point of view which is known as fatalism. And that is that nothing you do or nothing you think or nothing you believe is going to make a difference in the outcome of your life. And one of the reasons I think The Secret really became such a huge hit is more of an indication that many many people are actually fatalistic they don't believe in themselves or that they can take efficacious action in their lives that will make a difference and so this woman came along admittedly with a little bit of new age hocus pocus but the real message she delivered was that you actually are in charge of your life. Everything you have is already a result of self-determination. And by awakening this concept in people's lives, suddenly they become optimistic. They start setting goals. They start taking action. They start talking to people. And they get excited. And that's a very wonderful thing. And the reason I'm recording this message is because 
What you also see is that people get excited and then when they don't get immediate results, they go back to being fatalistic. Oh, they say that stuff doesn't work. Well, it does if you really understand the root cause of what's going on, and that is shifting your entire psychology from fatalism to self-determination. And when you do this, all of a sudden, not only do you believe in yourself and in your actions and in creating better results, but it becomes very much harder to become discouraged. Because if you believe in self-determination, you are going to keep going no matter what. You're going to keep believing because you realize it really is all up to you. So that is what I like deep down about the secret. And I'm, I'm sharing this again because if you're watching or listening or reading this message, I want you to not believe so much in the hocus pocus aspect of the secret, which is that thoughts are things and, you know, you can think of a Mercedes and it magically appears. Well, that does happen occasionally and, and that's how you get the anecdotal reports that the secret really, you know, works. But the reality is that if you delve a little deeper and understand what the secret is really all about, shifting your deep psychology from fatalism to that of self-determination, well, it really is like having a new lease on life. You realize that everything you've had gotten already is a result of everything you've thought and done. This is true. And once you realize that it really is all up to you and everything matters, well, you're going to start believing in better things. You're going to start taking more effective action. You're going to exercise and eat better and talk to more people and reach out and, you know, refresh old connections and apply for new jobs and go to school and just do all the things that create positive momentum in your life. And when things happen that show you that maybe achieving your goal is going to take longer, you're okay with that. You don't get discouraged because you've got this firm and very deep belief that you are in charge of creating the results in your life. And that, to me, is what The Secret is all about. And I hope that this message has encouraged you to either consider adopting the idea of self-determination or renewing your commitment to taking the action that you really want to take to get the results that you really want to get.